Tesla has delivered 928,987 units in 2022 as of the third quarter. They aim to deliver 1.5 million cars by 2022's end, which means the automaker must produce 571,013 units in this quarter. In order to become a leader in the production of EVs, Tesla recently warned its production team that weekend work will be required, and the increased production is also a big stepping stone to helping Cybertruck shorten the delay time. We don't anticipate this being any limiting factor for Cybertruck or anything else. But how is the production of Cybertruck going, and what has recently occurred around Giga Texas? All this and more in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back, friends, to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. But what I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. And it's gonna be like a damn fine machine. Cybertruck is the brainchild of Elon Musk, so finding qualified workers to build the pickup is top priority. So then how is Elon Musk planning to hire? Tesla has begun hiring workers at the Gigafactory in Texas, specifically for the production of the Cybertruck. This could spark some excitement amongst Tesla Cybertruck fans, as that means they've reached some stage in development when training and production are now in sight. Currently, Tesla has only 10 job listings related to Cybertruck production at Gigafactory Texas. One is for someone to lead Cybertruck production, and the automaker added nine other listings for Cybertruck BIW, which stands for Body in White. BIW is the step in the production process where the vehicle's body is put together. For an example, Dodge is currently offering a Challenger BIW to customers for motorsports purposes. The BIW stage is likely to be a challenge for Tesla since the Cybertruck has been designed with an exoskeleton stainless steel body. Unlike the general method with a body frame with panels, the company has ordered the world's biggest casting machine to be able to build the electric truck's body. Since the technology is on a new scale, Tesla will likely have some kinks to iron out before moving to mass production. Some other roles Tesla is hiring include a dimensional engineer, manufacturing operations leader, and an overall leader at Gigafactory Texas to oversee all manufacturing programs at the plant. Tesla is apparently preparing for a big product launch push as it warns that the person recruited for the position will have to be able to work flexible hours as production and maintenance needs change. This may include days, evenings, and flexible weekends for support. But are there any signs that Tesla is ramping up Cybertruck production? The Cybertruck launch preparations have started not only on the production and hardware sides, but also in the software realm. The Tesla iOS app account often posts nuggets of information about Tesla's plans derived from decompiling new versions of the Tesla app for the iPhone and iPad. Granted, Tesla has tried to mask the new entries under the letter C and the word truck, but it's not hard to deduce what comes after a Model E and before a semi-truck reference, especially if it is denoted with the letter C at the front. But while the Cybertruck will be assembled in Austin, Tesla is also retooling the entire interior for the Model Y of 2023. So what special changes are expected? To date, all cars built at Giga Texas have only featured the standard black interior. Seven months after opening, it looks like that might change, and Giga Texas may soon add the white interior option to its production lines. During a drone flyover of the factory by Jeff Roberts, a midnight silver metallic Model Y was spotted in a holding lot on the eastern side of the Giga Texas complex with the unmistakable white interior visible through the front windows, hinting that the factory may soon begin mass production of vehicles with the new interior. Aside from the Model Y's white interior, what makes this site interesting is that it was joined on the trailer by a brand new red multi-coat Model 3. We can deduce that the Model 3 is brand new because of the protective wrapping on the black door handles and we can still see the build sticker on the windshield. When Giga Texas was first announced, CEO Elon Musk said the factory would produce the Model Y Semi, the Model Y Semi, and Cybertruck, but also the Model 3. 
Given that the Model 3 production at Giga Texas, if it occurs at all, is still a long way into the future, this one was likely built at Fremont and not Giga Texas. With Gigafactory Texas gradually becoming the main focus and production speed increasing, what steps has Elon Musk taken to expand this factory? Tesla applied for a permit with the city of Austin, Texas to expand and upgrade the Giga Texas paint shop related to connections to new modular paint systems, suggesting that a new paint line is being assembled on site. According to this new permit application approval, a total area of 4,680 square feet will be added to the building. This expansion of the paint shop area hints of a fast ramp up of Tesla Model Y production at Giga Texas. These new paint shops are more advanced compared to the older ones at Giga Shanghai and the Fremont factory because they were developed with new engineering advancements that Tesla learned during their Model 3 production ramp up and beyond. It's also been reported that Tesla is even bringing parts and machines from Germany to Giga Texas in order to synchronize paint shops at both of these factories on a technical level. Upgrades to the paint shop could certainly benefit future projects that involve producing the Model 3 at the factory. Recently, Tesla showcased one of its newest colors at an auto show in Zurich, Switzerland. It came in the form of a Berlin-built Tesla Model Y in quicksilver paint. Tesla describes this paint color as a dynamic liquid metal effect color that accentuates the shape of the Model Y. It appears brighter and offers a Cybertruck body-like sheen under low lighting. This is one of the two unique paints to be offered in cars produced at Tesla's Giga Berlin factory. The other is Midnight Cherry Red. Tesla is known to do things differently regarding how it manufactures its vehicles compared to legacy automotive companies. One of these key differences is the limited number of colors a customer can choose. With new colors available from the Giga Berlin factories, upgrades may be on the cars for Tesla's other factories like Giga Texas and Fremont over the coming years. So now, let me ask you this. When do you think Cybertruck will be shipped? And would you like to own a Quicksilver Model Y? Let me know in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.